Shalom, shalom. This is your brother Wasil Bay, baby. And we are sham stoppers. And we uh we like to assert and reserve our United States and exercise our United States First Amendment constitutional rights. Cause women and women getting mad and shit. You know what I mean? Because they don't like the truth. The truth hurts. I love the truth. Tell me the truth, okay? Tell me the truth. Don't lie to me. Tell me the truth. Be honest. Because honesty is the best policy. Now, oh, we got a treat for y'all today, nigga. Yes, sir. All your problems stem from a woman. We're going to show you how all your problems come from women, especially lazy bitches, okay? But first, we're going to read this shit for YouTube, all the YouTube haters and the motherfuckers who calling in getting mad because we telling you the truth because y'all ain't shit. You know, these eight, we talking about these ain't shit bitches. Look, federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video. This under certain circumstances without authorization of the copyright holder. This infringement of copyright is called fair use and is allowed for the purpose of criticism, news, reporting, teaching, and parody. Let's get it on, baby. Let's get it on. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. This woman name is Melina Pink. Yeah, Melina Pink. Look at this motherfucker, man. Look at the title of that video at the bottom. What that shit say right there? Huh? Hold on, let me, let me fix my camera. What did it say? She said, woman, it's your job to be lazy. Let me tell y'all something. My mama's 63 years old and she is working to today still. You know what she told me? She said, I don't feel like working. I don't. I'm not going to depend on no man to give me no money. I'm going to always work. Come home, click. I took care of your daddy. I worked. Came home, took care of your daddy, took care of y'all, cook and clean. That's my job. I'm a woman. That's what a woman's supposed to do. That's her job. Fellas, if you don't have a woman like that, you ain't got shit. Remember that. You ain't got shit but a lazy, no good, cheating, low down, dirty, none bathing, none douching, scallywag, scum bucket, gnarled hands, bitch. Because it's the bitch, the bitch, the bitch. You know what I mean? And we're going to read some of these comments. First, let's read some of these comments first. We're going to go through these comments, man. Oh, I love how these hoes just setting themselves up. Oh! Wait a minute. Are you serious? It ain't gonna let me see the comments? Wow. But anyway, I'm gonna play this shit, all right? And do this and do that. I'm gonna let him do that. Because my role is to be here with my children. I'm gonna get my, my makeup and my hair and stuff fresh. I'm gonna look nice when my husband come home. I'm gonna be smiling because I have been able to rest I have been able to clean when I want to clean, dust a little bit here. I'm going to vacuum this little piece, lay down. I'm going to come back, get me some eggnog in my little foxy cup. And then I'm going to go and, you know, dust this and that. And then I'm going to come back and help this little boy with his homework. I'm going to tell this one, don't bite. Then I'm going to change a diaper over here. Then I'm going to talk to this one about sex and women and how they... That's a lot. It takes a lot to be a woman. Do not feed into the fact that you have to do and be everything. Don't feed into that because you don't. You have to do and be who you are uniquely meant to be. Period. Period. 
You have to do and be who you were uniquely made to be. So if you are at work right now. Okay, check this out. This bitch don't know she was uniquely made to be a helpmate. And then she gonna tell you what she ain't and what she gonna do. Well, fellas, toss her ass to the side because there's plenty of candidates that want to help you, fellas. A woman is born to help. Not born to have opinions. Not born to do what the fuck they want to do. They are born for you to tell them what to do. We are not equal. We are comparable. And the only comparable thing we have, she has only a little bit of testosterone. That's it, a little bit. They, they, do, they grow hairs up under their chin, mustache, you know what I mean? They got a little dick, you know, busted up balls is the clit, I mean the pussy. Right? Think about that. You got her telling people to be lazy. You know what I mean? We're going to read these comments in a little bit. The Indians don't rule the chief. The chief rules the Indians. Correct? A woman is born an Indian. And then hashtag women are lazy. That's going to be a hashtag to this one. Women, your problems stem from woman. Because this woman is basically giving you all type of problems right now. That's a problem. What she telling what she, what she going to do. Like she can whoop you and rule you. This is a third, this is a third class citizen. Who gave them power to vote? Who gave them, who gave it to them? Like women lawyers. Who gave them power to take the bar and become a lawyer? A man did, right? Was it you though? So if ain't your woman trying to help you and be comparable to you, then you an uh, outside bitch ain't got no business telling you what to do. Yeah. Bitches don't, only thing a bitch is ruling this, uh, on this earth is they period. Period. Mm, got to put something in your life. If you at work right now, and your man is at work right now, Man, listen, there is no reason why you should be... And then she gonna say, man, listen. Penis, penis envy right here. Penis envy. It's your job to be lazy. This bitch is crazy. Right? I got to, I, re, I reserve the right to criticize this disobedient hoe. Give a fuck she married or not. He need to check his bitch and tell his bitch to shut the fuck up. Cooking. Cleaning. Um, taking care of. And another thing. She talking about coming home looking good and shit. Putting on makeup. Bitch, you need to bathe. I'm going to tell you something of my homeboy that used to fuck bitches. I had one particular homeboy. He used to say, yeah, man, I'm going to get her. Soon she come in this house, I'm going to put her ass in that tub. Do you know these bitches in the motherfucking porno industry don't even bathe? They go straight to the goddamn shower. The water is dripping down from the little clit, a.k.a. dick. It's not going inside, so they made that bathtub for them to really soak us too. We supposed to soak too, but they supposed to soak more than us because they have that open motherfucking womb. That's why they are a womb man. Womb man. So, whoa, man, you can't tell me shit, man. That's why it's called whoa, man. Whoa, man, shut the fuck up. Y'all need to start checking these hoes. We're going to do another video after this. You know what I mean? These hoes ain't got no power. You knock a bitch teeth out. Fuck that shaking shit. Because it ain't got to the point a bitch can lie to you. 
and put you in jail, you got to, you reserve the right to knock that bitch teeth out. You knock a bitch teeth out, she won't play with you no more. Doing this, doing that. When you get off work, auntie, niece, when you get off work and you turn that key, I want you to go sit down and don't get your ass up no more for the whole rest of the night. Look at this shit. Don't get back up. Don't get back up. Don't get back up. Go sit down. Take your bra off. Take your wig off and go sit down, niece. If you get up, you get up to fix yourself a drink. I don't care if you got 19 kids and counting. Okay? Now, if a bitch do that in your house, that's what you need to do, fellas. Call you some more hoes over there. Okay? Call you some hoes that's gonna, that's gonna do what it do. Put her bitch ass out. Put her out. Put her motherfucking... And don't put a bitch's name on your fucking deed to your house, fucking idiot. Fuck wrong, child. Judge Judy already called you stupid for doing it. That's a setup. Of, look, marriage is a woman's setup. The bitches want to be lazy and shit. Lazy assholes. I'm going to call them out. They'll be all right. They can rely on each other. One of them is older and can help the little ones and do what they need to do. Go sit down. You know why? Because you didn't been a man and a woman all in the same day. You have done your share and then some for the day. Go sit your ass down. See, and let me tell you something. Your share? Now, bitch, you ain't got no share in the house. You got duties, honey. You have duties. Y'all need to start giving these women a duty list. Remind them who's in charge. Who wear the motherfucking pants in the house. That's what you niggas need to start doing. Stop being a fucking beta male. Stop putting a pussy on a pedestal. Put your dick on a pedestal. Dick make this world go around. Not no fucking pussy, because if it was, the bitches would be in charge. I promise you, the world won't, go, won't cave in if you don't uh, get up and cook and clean and do all that. Hello? Hello? Y'all need to relax. Chill. You're doing way, way, way beyond what you're supposed to do. You have done your share and then some. If you can be a woman and a man, go sit down. Go sit down. For real. Because you have done it all, basically. If somebody tells you that, uh, that you're being lazy, Explain to them, just like I explained to you, what you have done as a woman. What you have... woo Yay! Seven, seven. Ah! Here they come! Whoa! Thank you guys so much! Thank you, Miss Nubian Mother. She understand Nubian Mother. She said, girl, I am sharing this with my daughter. Keep preaching. I surely will. I surely will. <laughs> And then Miss Tamara said, I'm preaching today. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Yay. I got some money. I got some money. Thank you guys so much. So realize that that is a way to keep you doing what they want you to do. It was so much easier when women decided they wanted to be equal with men. Now, this bitch got got habit. I got some money. I got some money. And what you going to do with the money? Paint her motherfucking face because it's Halloween, right? Bitches don't need to go buy no costume because they already paint their face up, right? You use paint, makeup, fake up ain't nothing but paint and shit to go to Halloween parties. I don't like women with makeup. I just don't. That's, that's fake up. That ain't what you look like in the morning, honey. Show your real you. 
Show your be real, bitch. Bitches can't be real. That's because they don't like the fucking truth. This ought to teach you niggas a lesson. This video right here. And I'm going to break down the goddamn application for motherfucking child support services. We got it. We got it. Did you realize how... What, what he saying, Ricky? Why do black queens abort 51% of their children? Because y'all ask... Let me not even... I'm Ricky Spanish... He said black women abort 51% of the children. See how the truth just ate our ass up? Huh? I didn't go into, uh, to feed into that because we have to receive the baby from somebody. Where the baby coming from? Why you want to talk about women who are aborting babies? Where's the baby coming from? Okay. Who let them nut inside your ass? Huh? You can be a respectable lady and say, look, I don't want no kids. Okay, put this condom on. If not, I got me a female condom. See how dirty bitches is? I can read a bitch quick, nigga. If that bitch ain't got no job, she don't come with her own accessories, nigga hang it up. If her family ain't shit, nigga walk away. Do a bitch, do a background check on a bitch. And look, she's speaking the truth from there where the baby come from. You heard it today on Sham Stoppers, goddammit. Where's the baby coming from? Where's the baby coming from? What you talking about what you thought? Let me let me not let me cuz I'm preaching to the women So the fact that Ricky is even on here up in the middle of the day should let you know the quality of a man that he Has he probably got four or five kids sitting up in a landfill while he want to come on a video where a woman is speaking to other women Come on now So, you know, he ain't got no job for real Hello, so Ricky is insignificant mm -hmm. Now how she don't know Ricky is a, C a CEO or CFO of a company? Huh? We love this shit, man, because bitches are dumb. They talk too much. They run their fucking mouth. You know what I mean? Now, let's get to these comments. See, you can set up a bitch easy. Bitches are dumb because they want to be validated. Just like these beta males out here, too. They want to be validated. They want attention. Look at there. There's a lack of feminine energy now because women want to be men. Okay. Uh, now y'all just disobedient. Look at this bitch. I just want to travel and eat steak. And look at this naughty head, naughty head asshole. And lobster. They just want to eat this shit. Look at this shit. Eat. Travel, look, they want to eat, travel, shop, get beauty treatments, and yet don't want to take no bath. <laughs> you niggas are getting fucking fooled. You being fooled, don't believe that hype because she got on makeup. Her insides ain't like her outsides. Look at this shit. Look at this bitch that she need to be barefoot on the beach, poisoning the beach. Got all types of shit on bottom of her feet. These hoes don't detox. Look at this shit. Look at this bitch here. Girl, I've been standing for 10 hours with two 15 minute breaks and mandatory weekends. Just quit that shit and I won't look back. Laugh out loud. Ashley ass. Look at this shit, man. These hoes is useless, dudes. These hoes are useless. Y'all need to get, look. Y'all need to go up. And look at this dumb bitch, look. Look at this dumb bitch comment. 
Men, men and women are equally valuable to one another due to their differences. They complete each other. Is that true? I know some millionaire niggas ain't got no bitches without a woman. So what the fuck this hoe talking about? Look at this shit. This how you know these hoes is nasty. And I'm finna leave off this. Look at this. Activities that help me feel feminine, okay? Calm, relaxed, loving, nurturing, hopeful, soft, and kind. Taking a warm shower. Having a nice cup of coffee in a comfortable setting. Combing my long hair. Putting on my lip liner, lipstick, and eyeliner. Organizing my closet. Being told I'm beautiful and appreciated for being a woman. Bitch, but where the bathe at? Nigga don't tell you to bathe? That's a nasty ass relationship. Nasty. Niggas marrying nasty ass hoes who don't bathe that old wound ass pussy. Man, hey fellas, hit us up, hashtag women are lazy, subscribe, share, and like, coming out with another video after this one, peace.